just turn up your speakers for a second and take a listen to this FBA. Bro, she rubs, man. Yo, what is going on YouTube? My name is Jaden and welcome back guys to a brand new video on the channel. For today, ladies and gentlemen, we are taking a look at this absolutely beautiful Ford Mustang Fastback, man. This thing looks absolutely wild. This is a 1966, I do believe, and on this beast, we are rocking a pretty respectable 220 brake as well. Nothing crazy. This thing is more or less stock. Uh, like I said, 2 plus 2 challenge is special, so I have no idea what that entails, but one thing I do know, it looks sexy, man, and I'm real excited to rip this thing down a downhill toe game, man. So with all of that being said, guys, if you haven't yet, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're about to like, and let's hop into this fastback. Dude, this thing sounds absolutely wild. Damn, man, I'm really excited for this today. Now, the inspiration for today's video did actually come from a Instagram reel that I was watching the other day. And he was ripping it sideways down the toge, man. That was absolutely nuts. Now, obviously, this is a very stock Ford Mustang. And like I said, 220 brake horsepower. I don't think we'll be able to get this thing sideways, but I'm gonna try, man. I'm gonna try my hardest. But for the most part, I just wanna rub this down, dude, because obviously not that much power, but it sounds absolutely wild. And it looks great as well, too, man. Take a look at this thing right now. This is definitely one of those cars that you just cruise with, dude. I mean, there's not really a lot you can do as far as like racing is concerned. Just listen to their V8, man. This thing sounds uh, so freaking nuts. And I mean, with the low horsepower, it handles quite well. Like, I really have no complaints about it. I do want to throw it sideways, but... Dude, I mean, we don't have any angle on this thing. We don't have that much power. Like, I know I'm probably just gonna spin out. Yep, kind of like that, dude. All about cruising, man. There's not really lot to it it just it sounds great it's a highly detailed mod as well too and it's just overall freaking epic man oh we are getting a bit sideways on the exit of these corners dude it's a talky vehicle she wants to kick out but i don't know man we just we don't have the angle for it but damn bro this this is a really highly detailed mod, like I mean, it's completely free, I did pick this up off a of race department, so... Race department or modland, I don't actually recall where I got it, so I don't actually have a link, but if you guys do do a quick google search, you should be able to find this thing without a damn hassle, man. Okay, no! This is a, the perfect vehicle to cruise around with traffic though. If you guys have any of those damn um, traffic mods, you can definitely have a really good time in this Mustang, man. Just take it for a cruise, you know? Kick back, relax, grab a cup of coffee, and enjoy the hell out of this V8 on and don't do that. Just turn up your speakers for a second and take a listen to this FBA. Bro, she rubs, man. For 220 brake horsepower, I don't think you can enjoy it a lot more than this. I mean, maybe in a Civic. A Civic would be able to run 220 like with a lot of fun. But I mean, little V8, dude, you're not beating the sound. Man, I'm actually curious to what F6 views we do have. 
So we have uh, this one which throws us right in the middle. Which I actually did quite a bit. Oh dude, I feel like I could drive like this, man. Try and get a bit sideways. Yeah, bro. Okay. Then we have... Oof. We have some interesting views, man. We can even ride passenger if we really want to. Oh, bro. That engine note, though. That's absolutely money. And we are throwing a bit sideways as well. Hell yeah. This is such an epic mod. I have respect to the dude who did do this damn mod because the engine note, dude, I can just not get over it. Like, it's so freaking perfect. Come on. Jeez, bro. Like, I really want to push it. I really do. But at the same time, it's just. It's not the easiest car to drive, you know? The suspension fields are really boaty on it. Which I do like because it adds to the whole experience of having an old school muscle car. That's like, for the most part, stock. But dang, dude, it's just, it, it can be a handful. It sounds so freaking epic, man. Jeez, bro. Now I do actually have a Ford Mustang Fastback that is a driftable. It actually has the RB26, the same one from the Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. So I should have actually chosen that for today. But dude, I just I downloaded this mod and it looks so freaking epic. Like I could not pass up this opportunity. Oh my. Yeah, I'm just gonna pretend like that never happened. I don't know what you guys are talking about, man. We didn't just send it off the damn cliff in a car that probably cost more than my entire life. I love this thing, man. I mean, it's just, it sounds good, it looks epic. And you don't need the power, bro. I mean, it's nice to just cruise around. Let's see if we can do a nice little burn out with this thing. Yeah, she lights up the wheels, dude. to light those back wheels up. I think I'm just about to absolutely send it right now. If we crash out, it's one of those things, man. The main thing is to try and just uh, not let that back end kick out. Because the second it goes like past a certain point, you just cannot grab it back. But for right now, Actually, I'm doing half bad job. Oh, getting it sideways just a little bit. It handles, man. It handles. Oof, dude. This is what I imagine driving a boat down the toge would feel like. I mean, I say that surprisingly enough. It's it's not the worst handling car I've ever driven. But it's just. You could use some damn coilovers, man. That's all I'm saying right now. Oh, bro, this thing is nuts. Like I said, I don't think you can enjoy 220 brake horsepower more than this. And the thing is, like, this definitely isn't where this car shines. I mean, it's a damn toge, man. These muscle cars are meant to be like cruise with and drag in the quarter mile, but I don't know, dude. I'm enjoying the living crap out of this thing right now. I think it all just comes down to that engine note because, I mean, visually, we aren't really going that fast, man. We aren't really going over 100. This now, which on the toge it's kind of expected, man. I mean, we don't really work these things that fast. But it's all about weight transfer when it comes to toges, you know? It's just like riding that damn bad boy right now. Ah, uh, bro, I love heel towing in this thing. 
Dude, I'm curious, did Initial D ever have a Ford Mustang in it? Because like, I know it was mostly JDM cars, but that, that would have been rad, man. Imagine if they incorporated a Ford Mustang. Oof, that, uh, that would have been wild, dude. That's a burnout. Ah, dude, this thing was absolutely rad for today, man. Let me know your thoughts down below on the Ford Mustang Fastback 1966. 2 plus 2 special, man. With all of that being said, oh, we almost just crashed out. With all of that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for today in this Ford Mustang. Let me know what you thought down below. I'll see you guys back here in the next upload. I'm out. Peace.